Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a showcasing of an up and coming hot RTS that is real time strategy video game. This one is called Immortal Gates of Pyre, being developed by Sun Spear Games. And I've collaborated with this team a number of times. I've gone and played some 2v2 with Apoptosis and Artosis, just all the Tosises. Uh, also participated in a couple D&D-like one-shots. I can't remember the exact rule set that we did. I think it was something wilds. I can't remember what it was. But it was basically a role-playing game that was set entirely in the universe of Immortal Gates of Pyre. And one of the things that is already a standout element of this game is the lore. The lore of this game is so deep that even though it's in technical pre-alpha or whatever the official designation is, they can do entire role-playing game settings with bosses and enemies and factions and environments and the planets and the gods and all this other stuff. It's crazy. Basically, to boil it down, is Immortal Gates of Pyre lore makes Star Wars stuff look like a third grade English project. It's very big. Savage World System, thank you. That's what it's called. So I'm just gonna jump into solo play here. This is the technical pre-alpha. Play solo, check mark box. Look at this lovely art, this is heckin' mint. Let's just go in and I'm just gonna move the units around and kind of see what things look like and also check to see how things have changed since I've last played it. Let's check this box here. Let's see where this takes us. Burp, 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 burp. Choose your immortal and lock in your selection. So I'm just playing solo to test things out for now. How can we get this game? We have one of the developers in the chat here. I'm not sure what the status is on keys and stuff, but I've been blessed with access to this game. Cool. So let's just take a look at this real quick. Oh, there's a countdown timer. That's why it threw me into a game before. Development progress here at the top. The gameplay for this immortal is four out of five boxes full. The art and the sound is two out of five boxes and it is currently played in competitive. I don't know what this Orzum thing is. Is this the other one? Oh. Okay, Karath is the faction, and then this is the immortal. Basically the hero unit kind of thing. I don't think these are hero units on the battlefield constantly per se, but they do have like really powerful abilities that you kind of like as a god over the battlefield can summon them in. So let's just look at this one. Each of these Immortals gives you a couple different units. So you're working with the base units of the faction Karoth, but then you've got some key units that are unlocked depending on which immortal choice you make. They've also got abilities here. Let's look at these units. The Zentari, standing 10 feet tall and clad in three layers of consecrated plate mail, the Zentari are literal juggernauts who wade effortlessly into the thick of battle they replace the Sipari, so it gives you a super version of one of the units, pretty much. And then you've got the Scepter. Given unto Orzum by Holy Eros to aid in the conquest of creation, Scepters embody the unquestioned authority of the Covenant and the regal might of the Celestial Crown. The Scepter replaces the Warden. Okay, this is what the Immortal Guy looks like. Passive, you have an Ordained Conquest. He executes towers below 20% and Orzum Citadels generate one Pyre every six seconds. Pyre is one of the kinds of resources here. You've got abilities, summon a Citadel. You can add a tower to a, a structure. Empire Unbroken. Buildings in the target area reduce incoming damage significantly for several seconds. At the end of the duration, structures recover 50% of their shields and life. Pillar of the Heavens. Oh, I remember this one. This one's awesome. Wham! Thing slaps down permanent building, damaging enemy units on impact. It passively buffs nearby allied units' attack speed and generates hallowed ground. Cast Empire Unbroken on the pillar. 
Okay, Imperial Foundation. Summons a Tower Foundation, followed by summoning a Citadel. Cool. And this lady... Heavy armor, unwieldy to normal humans. These exalted souls cast themselves into battle, raising up the souls of the lost from the clutches of the damned. They replace the Magi. Nice. Ark Mothers left the vaunted halls of the Acropolis to dwell amongst the Empire's denizens. Sacred caching is open, parting arrow, and spell from Faithful Soldier. The Ark Mother replaces the Hallower. Cool. She's got some of the same abilities. This is different. Heaven's Aegis, a barrier to nearby allied units once every four seconds. Allied units nearby have slight damage reduction. Cool. Deliver from Evil. Summon Ajari. She gives bonus shields to units in an area after a short delay. Units are teleported to the nearest Apocalypse. Acropolis. Oops. Salvation. 20 seconds to save nearby units from death. Instead of ally units dying, Pyre is spent teleporting them to Ajari with 25% life. Warning consumes Pyre per supply the unit saved and will deactivate with less than 10 Pyre. Hmm. So you can save some units. Pretty nice. And then there's the Aru. This is the other faction here. This is the immortal Mala. Prophet of Blood. Development progress. Gameplay is 4 of 5. Art and sound is 1 of 5. And then this is the immortal herself or itself. Incubators. They're born from Aru once mothers. Oh, we got 20 seconds. We got to just make a decision now. And this is the other one. Zol. Is this the one that I played in the the D&D like thing? I think it is. I used like the icky sticky kind of voice for this one. Okay, let's just pick the one with the it says further development art and sound. Let's just go with this one. It's fine. Let's see what they got. Okay, we have a base. This is the Acropolis. It's a stronghold. This is a resource. These are resources. This is our immortal dude over here on the right. This has 800 shield and 1600 health. Cool. This is for collection of alloy and ether. So this is alloy. This is ether. For StarCraft people, minerals and gas. So they're mining stuff automatically. Uh, let's see what the buttons are for this. This thingy. Do I make units from this? Let's build. Let's just take a base. I like going hatch first. This is hatch first. I can zoom in. Nice. Look at these nice grasses. This looks pretty crisp. Look at this water that's like pouring water into this or something. Wow. Or maybe it's just like super hot alloy. Look at this river. Got a waterfall. Nice color and tile set. It's a pretty windy day. So if you've got any... Um, if you've got long hair, you might want to put it up. Just because it might be slapping you in the face here. These workers are called moats. Look at these little guys. One of the things that a lot of game developers are watching out for is how easily can we make this unit into a plushie? I think this one is pretty easy. It's already pillow shaped. They likely had that factoring into their equation. The moat does five damage, range of 50, 1.887 attacks per second targets ground. Can I just attack one of my own things to see what this does? We have attack command. Or is it right click to move? Auto build. It's going to auto build. Okay, so this is another one of the design philosophy things for this game. They're basically wanting to look at the skill floor of the game and make sure that for brand new players or people who aren't really RTS enthusiasts, that they don't just get totally lost and totally scuffed. So at the low end, if you don't do anything for a pretty long period of time, it will auto build some stuff that you select here. If you have the like structures and so on to do so. 
but for a high level player you should be able to spend your money fast enough that the auto build doesn't even turn on so it doesn't really mess up uh, high level play but it does help out the lower level play so what can we build here legion hall soul foundry apostle of binding default group production tab is z default group is d c is the construction tab yeah, Second wow, army, fire wow, singer yeah, defense. Thank you, Oscar Jesus Mike, for your support. This is what we need. Apostle of Binding. Let's go. So this is basically building a Vespian geyser. Look at how pretty that is. Is this done or is it still building? Wow. It's heckin' windy today. And then whenever I finish a structure, do I have to send stuff back to mine? I think so. There's a neutral tower in my natural that can be used to show off attacks. Neutral tower. So this one. Okay, nice. Thank you. Let's just attack stuff with the moat. He's trying. Our base is under siege. I know that voice. He was in the roleplay session that we did. It's gonna take this a while to kill this, but this is basically is under siege. the closest to a probe. Love the extractors in this game, it looks so cool, hell yeah. Is this now attacking me because I attacked this? What have we done? That's Harry, one of your tech artists? Yeah, I remember him. He's a good player in the RP game that we did. Look at these guys. The Zentari Frontliner. 18 damage, 1.43 seconds between attacks, targets ground, range 100. So double the range of the worker unit and a lot tankier. Light armor, 100 shields, 180 health, 380 move speed. I'm kind of blocking the tooltip here for the unit. I'll hide my camera for a second. Okay. So now you can see this. This is basically what the tooltip looks like. I'll put my camera back on in a second, but if you're clicking buildings and stuff, uh, this is kind of like that center section in StarCraft that just shows you what the stuff is. That's pretty cool. Okay, camera back on. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Let's get one of these dudes to attack this thing. Just to see what it looks like. This building is really pretty, by the way. All right, you attack this. Attack this. Rah! It's like a glowing blue scimitar. Yeah! He's got two shields. He killed the tower by himself! Is this pyre? Can I take this? I think I can use normal shift commands. Shift three. How does that work? Control three. We can make zephyrs. Z is production tab. C is construction tab. Let's build a soul foundry. What does that do? I have this. Okay, that's the soul foundry. We're making another one for fun. Legion Hall. Let's make a couple Zephyrs from the production tab. So one thing that they did with the UI, groups are space plus number, thank you. Space three. All right, we got these on three. Space four. Space five. Oops, space five. Five, four, three. Oh, we're gaming now. Look at this camera efficiency. Boom, 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 boom. How can you do it? Okay. Let's just explore the map a little bit, taking the sights. We're not in a rush here. Look at all this real estate. These are some nice ferns. Nice rock formations here. I think the first thing that we really want to do is put a fence up. Because this area is very dangerous. You could simply fall off the edge. 
So just fencing this whole area will be just a good safety precaution. At least for ground units. Air units obviously could fly anyway. These guys are chopping. Good job, everyone. Clap. Please clap. Burm, burm, burm. Good afternoon, gamers. This is Immortal Gates of Pyre. Let's go to the production tab and build a different unit. Magi. We any more population without more production structures. We need more production structures. Space three, space three. All right. So instead of making supply depots in this game, or pylons, or overlords, you just make more production buildings to be able to support more stuff. Okay, so let's do that. Construction tab is C. Let's just make an angelarium. Made two of them. Great. So I have 80 supply right now. Minimap is bottom left. Where God intended it to be. What does this do? Oh, this is my supply meter here. This is the game clock. This is the pyre resource, the top one. This is the minerals. This is the gas, basically. Borrowing StarCraft terms. This is a Hallower. Kind of looks like a floating coffin. Where can we go? Let's attack something with this. Need to find another neutral tower. There's probably some creep camps out there. Is this built with Unreal Engine? Yep. Yeah. Let's just send one of these dudes. Okay, watch out. Shh. Watch out. There's some enemies over there. Can I click these? Cannot. Okay. I'll right click them. Oh, they do like a Moonfire ability. Is the blue circle where they're about to shoot? Oh, that might be a, a damage thing that's just on the ground there. So if any enemy steps in that, it hurts them. Or it buffs us. If it's a Hallower, my guess would be that it gives you Hallowed Ground. That's my guess. Okay, this is Pyre. This is the third resource type. Look at this. God is pleased with me collecting that Pyre. Game is looking clean. Yeah, this looks way cleaner than last time I played it. Yeah, there's tons of detail in this too. I would guess this is the graphics all the way up. Okay. Let's just fight this again. And I want to see if anything happens to this dude when he's in the blue thing. What does this blue shit do? Does it give me a buff? He died. Oh! Send in the whole army. Ha! Ha! God is pleased. We've collected more pyre. Okay, tab. This is the construction tab. It's a research stuff. Cool. So just to kind of go through their UI, you've got production tab, which opens up the option to build all the different production facilities. All of them. Alt does what? Ping? Train Hallower. What is this bottom menu? Can I click this? Default group. Deploy Magi. Create a zone of hallowed ground. Oh, that's like sieging a unit, I guess. Space three, space three, space three. So I have 160 supply right now. You love the progress since you last checked on this game. Yeah, this is looking hot. I wanna do those uh, Immortal Abilities V. Let's go find some victims. 
Bring out the next victims. This is 171 supply that I have, by the way. Hello, chat. Good to see you. All right. The pillar of the heavens. Watch this. Bitch! Boom! Ho ho! We just one shot the dude in the middle. And then this is permanent. Is this just mine forever now? Until it's killed? Oh, God is very pleased with this. And that cost me pyre to do that. So it's kind of like a energy for your god mode abilities to fight over this red stuff. Let's just do that again. Can I do it again? Oh, it has a cooldown. So you can't spam it too much. Imperial Foundation, Tower Foundation. Okay. Let's just try this. Does this matter where I put this? A Tower Foundation. Construction tab. How do I build a tower? Hostile binding. Angelarium. Default group production. I don't know how to build a tower. Hey, what's a Master Dylan? Build towers with Pyre. Do I do this with my Summon Citadel? Is that it? Oh, it is! Watch out, watch out! It's building. Wait for a minute. Give it a minute. It just needs a minute. I'm at 208 supply. We're getting pretty big. Let's make some more production facilities. Um, you don't even need to select a worker per se to do that. Let's just build. It's the Angelarium and Eye of Eros. Space gives me the advanced ones. We build a monastery of Izur. Let's build in a reliquary as well. Let's also build the House of the Fading Saints. Those poor saints are just fading away. Uh, fading away. Bearer of the Crown. Has tech for the Angelarium. Space F. Eye of Arrows for late game research. Hardened Flame. Be careful, this hotkey is caps lock, so... If someone is yelling at you in caps in this game, they might just be trying to build stuff and they're not actually mad. As a note. Reliquary finished constructing. And as you can see, if you look at the supply, as these buildings finish, my supply limit should go up. What is the total supply limit in this game? Because we're past 200. This is beyond StarCraft's levels. I don't even know. We've entered super army territory. 240 is cap. Nice. Nice. Is this generating pyre for me? For any foundation that you put a tower on, does that generate pyre for you? Citadel. Oops. That can't go there. It can't go there, but why not? It's a tower core. Morph to Citadel. Oh. It's Orzum's unique ability. It's 240 in 1v1 and it's 160 in 2v2. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we got a pretty big army now. This is just what it looks like when you're super massive and strong. We need. We need more pyre. I spent so much pyre on this. It was 75 per citadel. But if you look at our pyre, I should be passively generating some. Yeah. So these are kind of like creep camps, basically. And the thing that you get from them is pyre, which allows you to use your immortal abilities and stuff. 
It's the third resource. It's used for this. Watch this, dude. Okay, I need more of it first. Okay, check this out. I have 150 pyre. I can use my mortal ability, which is kind of like your hero's ability. And just fuck up this whole area. And I just added a permanent structure for myself. So it's like the most scarce resource that gives you powerful hero stuff that you can do. Can I put a citadel on top of these things that I fight? Does it go on top of this? I wonder if I blocked it by virtue of having this. Oops. Oops. V. Q. Summon citadel. We need more pyre. Does anyone have some pyre? I'm fresh out. Oh, there's some over here. You're working on dropships and build grid. Open beta 2024 with three factions. Nice. Good night, Oscar Jesus. Thank you for sponsoring this content with your amazing gifted subscribes. Okay. Can I put this on that? No, I cannot put that on that. Okay, that's fine. What other abilities do I have? Empire Unbroken. Buildings in the target area reduce incoming damage significantly for several seconds. So I think this basically makes my base a lot more sturdy if I'm being attacked. Let's just see what this does. Uh, this Empire Unbroken. Does this apply to both if I do this? Ooh. Okay, so I think it just applied to this ability, but this blue circle, or maybe it's both. This gives me defense for some period of time, I guess. So these are kind of like spots where you can just invest in a turret to defend your base. Summon Citadel. As you're running by, you can expand like this, and then you have a tower to protect it. Cool. And I'm at the supply cap. It's a bit of semantics, but you use the word technical to stress that the game is incomplete. There's still a lot of performance tuning to do and still quite a few bugs. Yeah. It could have been cute if it wasn't so terrifyingly large. Just holding back from saying pervy jokes. <clears throat> okay, it's fine. Self-control. Self-control. Do I have a Magi yet? What is the command to attack? Can I attack my own units to get rid of them? What does this God Mode button do? I enabled God Mode. God Mode help. Help. God mode off. I was briefly a god. When you just change direction, the color profile is throwing you off. Really? They just look like normal units to me. The DPS of this army is crazy. I like how these light up. It's like something getting super hot and then it cooks them. In God Mode, use the delete key to remove some units so you can make others. Oh, well, thank you. God Mode. Uh, my keyboard doesn't have a delete key. I don't think. It doesn't have a delete key. I have a custom keyboard. <laughs> oh no. Up a tree made me a custom KBD 75, so it doesn't have everything in it. You can summon enemy units. Oh, there we go. That, that's a workaround. Summon enemy units. Um, do I just click these? Enter P1. Cur 
current player in. P1 is me. N is neutral. Aru. Oh. Where are these being put? Do I click and drag them? Click in, click this, click this. Oh, there we go. Thank you. It's a red seer. A root cradle. Oh, these are the buildings. Stalker thingy. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna make an enemy army and then we're gonna take a fight. You can click it a lot after you've selected in. Uh oh. Oh no! It's the Zerg! Use our angel powers against the. To the front lines! Can I control click these units back? I can. The micro! It's too many of them. They have too many little bugs. They have too many of these ones too. These ones look so fucking sick. Okay, I got rid of my supply. That was my goal. Oh, I need to select player one again. Should I just turn off god mode for now? So I can actually micro my units. Okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back. I don't know how my rally point is set there, but it is. Our base is under siege. That's true. Run! Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. You just hit the production key and then click the ground. That's easy. Hold the line! Who's this guy? It's a Magi. I haven't seen these guys before. He's holding little thing. Okay, what do you do? Deploy Magi. Create a zone of hallowed ground that unlocks the power of nearby Karoth allies. Deployed units cannot move. Use mobilize to move again. Okay, it's deployed. I will now read this book to you, which gives you untold powers in this blue circle. However, if you move outside the blue circle, you will not gain these powers, said the Magi as he read from the book. Great. That's cool. Alright, so if we wanted to fight this mess of an army... Let's just scout this area. We've got to think about our moves here. Okay, do we have... They have stop command. Okay. All right. Some of them are still there, but some of them left. wonder where they went. Magi have serious drip. All right, let's deploy this dude. Okay, so this is the plan. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a bunch of fancy units now. I'm gonna make a bunch of fancy units and then we're gonna try to fight that again. What did we not make yet? Absolver, we didn't make one of those. Dervish, we didn't make one of those. Zephyr, I didn't make one of those. We're gonna go for the one of every unit strat. A Sharu, what do I need for this? We require more minerals. Okay, these guys need to mine a different base. You're broke. Absolvers are fun. 
Do you have any sins you need to be absolved of? Because the absolver could help you, maybe. Okay. These moats are getting hard at work. We need to just wait a few moments until we get $400. Alloy is harvested by your workers and used to build almost everything. Build a town hall and the disc-like foundations it's found near you. New alloy wells. New town halls can be upgraded. That's good. I love upgrading my town halls. They absolve sin with their pizza spin. Did you mean to make that rhyme or did it just happen naturally? Whoa! The throne! Look at this. This guy got a facelift since I last saw him. Damn! That's a big old buddy. Looking pretty cool. And with incredible might, the throne floated above the skies with its two blue daggers of doom! Alright, let's go into this hallowed ground and just test out this guy. Can you not see me because I'm high ground? I battle you. Whoa. You dare challenge me? Filthy ground peasants. Blah! Blah! Yeah! Chop! Guess these can't attack air. Silly bugs. Oh, look at the hand animation, too. Do you see that in the middle? He's going like this, or like this, or something. Damn, that's sick animation. He's got magical hands and normal hands. In bed. <laughs> Good job, Throne. Okay, that's a strong unit. Let's pick up this pyre. We need this. Oh, I have a cap. I have the max amount of pyre. Can I simply not pick you this up? should change to a different mode first. Oh, thank you. That's a good idea. This guy's gonna go pick this up. Oh, I did get it. Oh, I guess there's not a cap. Oh, it's still going up. Even though the bar is full. Flying units can't pick it up. You wish like you had magical hands and normal hands. Yeah. The calls don't shoot up. It's like a marauder. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's see what other units we got here. Which ones have I not shown yet? The specter. No, the scepter. The scepter. No, it's the scepter. This unit, I don't know if it existed the last time I played. I don't think it did. And if it did, it didn't look this cool. That's looking pretty fresh. Look at those nice wings. Damn. Let's go, baby. It doesn't really have a face. It's kind of like a headless horseman. Its essence is blueness. But it's able to hold a staff, looks like. Okay, let's see what this unit does. It does zone control. Hunkers down to do lots of damage. 19 range damage versus medium 35 versus heavy 40 range 600 okay let's test out a fight what a handsome unit no you're a handsome chat you forgot to build your next expansion oh my gosh you're right thank you neuro don't forget your macro thank you oh my gosh thank you okay what do you do when you fight this how do I hunker down with this unit? Attack move, stand ground, select main army. This is doing fine, just attacking as it is. Nice blue arrow shots here. When he stands still, he gets mana and then spends mana to do blasts. Oh, I see the mana bar. I think my uh, camera's blocking it. I'll hide my camera for a second. It's this bottom bar, the pink. Mana used to cast spells. 
So if it if it casts a spells, it's like 50-ish each. Oh, it can only shoot when it has mana. Uh-huh. Heavy armor. Quite a bit of damage. Loose it if he moves. Yeah, no mana is being gained right now. Oh, the army's still there. Okay. Let's say it sits still. Yeah, it's gaining eight mana a tick. If the math checks out. Eight mana. Eight mana. Nice. Okay, who have we not tried? Mm, a castigator. Oh, this one's funny. Get it walking on the ground. This one also didn't really have a character model last time I played. Again, it's one of those creatures with blue essence on the inside. Air denial. Oh, it's an anti-air buddy. Ground to air specialist. Use this to eliminate air threats. But it only targets air. Okay. Can I god mode put in some enemy air units? God mode. In uh, what's an air unit? Karoth. Burm, 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 burm. No. Oh, I need to do this. Derp. Dip. Um, a throne is air. It's a little bit hard to read. This is throne. Oh, this is an air unit. There we go. Okay. Okay. God mode off. Oh, this is allied with me because it's the same faction. That's funny. I cannot attack you. We are friends. No friendly fire being in this game. Probably a good idea. <laughs> Oh, can the devs confirm or deny it? the main mode for this that you're shooting for is 2v2? Or is there also 1v1? What's the what's the story here for the goals? I'll turn my camera back on. Camera back on. Both 1v1 and 2v2. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my lord. Air superiority. Is this one? Which one was that that clicked? Air Denial. Harrier. Oh, this one. We expect co-op and 1v1 to be the most popular modes. You'll also have 2v2 and 3v3. Nice. Oh, this one looks so much better. I think last time it was just the shape of it, but it was just blue blocks. This moves almost exactly like rollerblading. I think this is a harass unit, if I remember correctly. They're really good at like running by worker lines and messing them up. Not really the strongest frontline unit. <gasps> As you can see, <laughs> they are medium armor. Oh, the Castigator can shoot ground. It just prefers to attack air. All right. Can I select main army? Selects all units not in a group. And then I can just add them to the group. Nice, so I have everything now. Okay. You are undeployed. Let's build some more stuff. Let's build some of these. Absolvers. I absolve you. Oh, I can build these now. Build a Sharu. Absolvers are the long legged unit. Yeah, I think I remember which ones. They had the spinning plates, basically. I don't think I made one yet. 
The buildings look gorgeous. This building looks so nice. Looks like a super fancy swimming pool resort. This is the Legion Hall. If you want to be in the Legion, you go to the Legion Hall. Talk to somebody. The Angelarium. If you're an angel, this is where you go to do your stuff. House of the Fading Saints. Think you've earned your sainthood, but you're a little bit past your prime? Check out the House of the Fading Saints. Get your research. This moat has been here for a while. Get back to work. And what other buildings do we have? This is the reliquary. Do some research. Nice floating building. Gotta pay extra for that. Bastion, this is production. I think this building is just in the base by default. Legion Hall. And then I missed yet. Ooh, the Eye of Eros. Nice. It's a pool. These two moats get back to work. What are you doing? Damn, this looks sick. Bum, bum, bum. You bet it tastes like cotton candy and sulfuric acid. You want to eat the Soul Foundry blue juice. <laughs> Gatorade. Citadel. These look pretty cool, too. Oh, it's like dudes, look! He's like, stop! Stop! This is the Monastery of Azure. How many monks are in this monastery, do you think? At least seven. Perhaps fourteen. But it should be a multiple of seven. Okay. Did we get any of those new units? Oh! It's a Sharu. Oh, there are these dudes. Daddy Long Legs Plate Spinning Champions. Alright. These units are going to be the best if you're at the beach and there are two people drowning at once. Double lifesaver buoy. Hi, I'm looking into the ocean. There are two people who need help. What unit do I build? You build an absolver. Let's check this out. Zone control. Hunkers down to do lots of damage, so if they move less, they do more. Can they solo this whole thing? Solo this whole pack? It might die! Survive! Oh, deploy. I didn't even deploy it. Well, this is its weak mode. All right, let's get the strong mode. That was my bad. That was my bad. Yeah, deploy it. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. I'm not a pro at this game. Okay. Okay, this is the deployed mode. Okay, that's way better. That's way more damage. Boom, 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 boom. Double life bluey attack. Wow. So stronger. Good job. Good work, everyone. God is pleased. They do more with more units in range because they just do AoE. Get lots of units for deploy mode. I can just go over to that army. I made an army with god mode earlier. This is a very brave absolver. Sticking its neck out. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. It's not the tankiest. Our base is under siege. Okay, what's this unit? The Skeptor. 
Oh, I already showed that one. Our base is under siege. We didn't show the the Sharu Elite Caster. This is an Elite Caster unit. Oh, does it have a description? Casts big spells. <laughs> Forces the enemy out of position. Has extra damage and upgraded armor. Oh, I forgot to get the upgrades. That's in the... Construction tab. Production tab. Default group. Construction tab. Build a keeper of the hardened flame. Unlocks upgrades for all units. Big spells. You can god mode toggle all upgrades. Oh, it's the tab. Faith cast blades. Plus one damage reduction on this one. The grid mode is nice. Everything is within reach. Monk Lord's Icon. Or, alternatively, research Monk Lord Psycon, whoever he is. Research Wind Step. The Zephyr can do a short range teleport. Research a Westrick. Unlock. Oh no, Awe Strike. <laughs> a West Reich. Target an area to create a circle of fire. Enemy ground units take damage while inside the circle. For Sharu. Okay. Space. Oh, there's even more upgrades. Okay. So space is basically toggling the advanced mode for stuff. For both construction and for upgrades. R W A F. So we're getting all the upgrades now. I'm guessing they're in a queue somewhere. Let's test out this guy. What do you do? Casts big spells. Smite. Create an orb that locks onto an enemy unit. If they do not get out of range in time, the orb launches them at the dealing single target damage. You can store up to two charges. Nice. Watch out, watch out! And that spent mana for this guy? Don't. They have another ability that I haven't purchased yet. It's researching. Enemy ground units at the center of the area suffer a large burst of damage. Targets outside the center take reduced damage than the areas left ablaze damaging units over time. Oh, it learned it now. Nice. Oh, it's so hot. All strikes so hot right now. Watch out, watch out. Nice. Okay. Everyone group up. We're going to battle. We're going to battle. Control click these guys. You go to the back. Control click these guys. You go to the front. What's your favorite Karath unit so far? Hmm. Hmm. Wind step. Oh, I can just use the abilities now. Smite. Awe strike. Awe strike. Wind step R. Uh, mobilize all deployed. Deploy absolver. Okay, those are deployed. Deploy magi. Those are deployed. Change to a different mode first. Nice. Favorite unit of these so far? Hmm. I think aesthetically, maybe this one? Pretty classic angel look. It looks really cool. The throne is also really badass. 
And this one's model looks way better than when I last played. Single file, everyone. Single file. Okay, these, I think, are some of the coolest. And then... Probably this one. Absolver. The Magi looks cool. It's pretty small, though, so it's kind of hard to see. They remind me of, like, Eastern Orthodox priests. With their holding the incense thing. And they got candles and stuff on their shoulders. These look pretty crazy cool. Probably these three, I guess. For the coolest units. I do like the animation on this one, how it heats up and stuff. Good work, everyone. Good work. Nice. The map looks great. Detail looks great. The units look way more advanced and crisp than when I last played. Mechanics are pretty straightforward once you figure them out. Cool. Let's try the other faction. Playing caps while playing won't change your caps text. You disable that effect in game. Wow, thinking ahead. Nice. <clears throat> Magi are cool AF. True, confirmed. Unlock game server, enter access key. What is this? I don't know what that was. Okay. Place solo check mark. Let's try the other faction, see what they can do. <sighs> Excellent work, Sunspear Games. You have made immense progress since I last saw this. I am proud. Zol, the prophet of the hunt. There was a really funny moment in uh, the roleplay campaign that we did where I played as this character, I think. I think I played as Zol. And she's basically icky sticky with a pet companion and she can talk to animals. And there was this one point where there were these huge, like, kind of caterpillar monster things that were, like, tons of weight. They're just massive, like, super snakes, basically. And they were about to pounce us in the woods. And I spoke in their animal language, like, <laughs> and basically said to them, these guys have parasites. And if you eat us, you will probably get it and you will die. And I rolled high enough that we completely skipped that boss fight because Zol talked to the animals and convinced them that we were infested. And they didn't want to get sick, so they left us alone. <laughs> that was a good moment. Good move. They expected a combat moment and I circumnavigated that shit. With maybe a deception. <laughs> Alright. So we've got Bone Stalker. The hunters use their strange powers to hide from light itself. Striking with lethal precision when their prey draws close. Bone Hunter replaces the Masked Hunter. Invisible unit? White Wood Reaper. Unburdened by mortal needs, White Wood Reapers join consciousness with those cut by their blade, granting the hunter intimate knowledge of their prey. The White Wood Reaper replaces this bloodbound. So. I played as uh, one of the Aru, and one of the cool things about them is they're very much a warlike, merit-based society. Your standing in this society is based on a few things. First of all, if you're female, that's already automatically higher standing than if you're male. But then whatever you hunt and whatever you kill and whatever glorious deeds you do in battle, you can present those as trophies and offerings and so on, and that just moves you up in the social strata so pretty cool society that they've got there definitely very violent and warlike people they're uh, all about blood and stuff which obviously has certain ethical uh, issues with it so who do we want to pick here 
Zol Arden Sound is a one. I think we can go with this character just because it's further along. That looks so good. They're like blood tree looking people. Very cool, very cool. Okay, I think we'll go with this one. Let's do this. Keep zolin, 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 zolin. What? Okay, so to check out how things look different, the town hall structure, as you can see, is very different. This is like some Aztec looking shit. Bunch of blood at the top here. Instead of blue Gatorade, they've got red Gatorade. And that's got different vitamins, probably. Their worker unit is a little ladybug looking thing. Pretty cute. You got, like I said, if you're gonna make worker units, you gotta think about what is the plushie value. This is pretty good. Pretty good plushie value here. It's a blue ladybug with red dots on it instead of the red and black. Grove Heart is the name of our town hall. It's a stronghold construction tab. Let's just construct some shit. Ether Maw. These ones are so cute. <laughs> It's like a big happy Venus flytrap. Look at how happy it is. Oh, it burped. Excuse you. You also want to eat the red juice, but Dylan told you you'll get parasites from it. You probably will. A pitcher plant. Yeah. Take a picture with this pitcher plant. Burm, burm, burm. Let's build an Altar of the Worthy. Let's build an Amber Womb. Oh, we don't have enough Vespin gas. I mean Ether. I mean Vespin, I mean Ether. Let's expand, because we're Macro Zerg. That's what Macro Zergs do. Is there an Idle Worker button, or do they just go back to work eventually? Oh, there's the little dude. Get back to work. But you build this. Build this ether mall. It looks like a big old squash. It's got some aloe vera around it too, so in case you get a sunburn, if you're in a planet that has a pretty thin atmosphere and you get really sunburned, you can just like chop off a little corner of this and put it on your skin. It's going to help your sunburn. Not a lot of people know that. The teapots! Oh! We need more ether. Nice. So fun fact here, early on in development, I was one of the people who made the first build, or one of the first builds in this game, and it was a mass teapot all in. And a lot of people, they were really upset by it because they were like, no, no, coffee is the best. And then like a hundred teabots go into their base and they got so butt mad that Sunspear Games was like, we gotta, we gotta patch this. This is too tilting for our gamers. So they had to wheel back the teapot a little bit, but I was there in its glory days when you could just own people with this. Did you know that teapots now have a laser? How many of these can I make? Is there a limit? We're at max training capacity. We need more production. Space. Yeah, see, they put a cap on the number of teapots. Successfully broke the game here. What do the teapots do for damage? Damage 12, range 300. 400 move speed, light armor. Let's just teapot attack this. Max training capacity, not max straining capacity. Oh, I need to go over here. Let's see how strong these are. Can they not attack? Oh, 
I will glare menacingly at them. Damage 12. They can only hit teapots. Oh! Teapots can only attack other teapots. That's so weird. The teapot loves all entities in the universe, except other teapots. That they cannot abide. All right, so we have teapots. Cool lore value there. Morph to Godheart. I can't believe I forgot to morph my town hall structure last game. Here we go. Now we're basically upgrading to a lair. What do we have here? We got some dudes. We got some dudes here. Who do we have? This is a masked hunter. Cool bow. Nice blue bow. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. I like their helmet and stuff. So this is the lady immortal person that we have. Let's build some units here. This is the altar of the worthy. That is a very steep climb. You would really need to be worthy to climb up those steps. That's way steeper than these steps. The unworthy would absolutely fall back. You need to make merch with teapots on it. Oh, we got more buddies. I think I can turn off auto build too. Oh yeah, by right clicking this, you turn off auto build. Nice. Zakal, this is a frontliner. Chat said these are like marauders. Range, yeah, they're pretty short range. They target ground. Oh, an Ica. Hurry up. Goes real fast. I kind of hope that some of these descriptions just stay as they are. I'm not sure if it's a placeholder, but it's funny. Hey, I was wondering about the Icker. When would you make that? You would make that when you want to go somewhere, but you want to go somewhere real fast. Oh, okay. You're keeping the short tooltips for role descriptions. I like that. Change the name to Speedy Boy. Zoomy Boy. Okay, let's check the DPS. I can dance all day, I can dance all day, try to hit me. What you got? Oh no, it died. Okay. Apparently those units aren't able to solo those packs yet. Okay, we got the army. It's pretty easy to grab everything. What? Oh, the teapots fly now? Do these get upgraded? What happened? It's a detector now. How did this happen? Did I upgrade something? Oh, it's because I upgraded my gaunt heart. Aha. Uh -huh. Aru versus Aru has a lot of ickers in it. Nice. All Aru units have proton style shields that regenerate quickly out of combat. Those are detectors. Those are detectives? Yeah, 70 shield on those, 25 shield on the masked hunter. Okay, let's build some more tech structures here. Amber Womb. Let's build a bone canopy. Let's build a space bar. Give us a neurosite. That Good. must be placed on roadway. Oh, it's like creep. Okay, it's fine. A murder hollow. Okay. Um, a deep nest. How deep? Deep as hell. You do not have the required buildings for this. I need a bone canopy. How do I make a bone canopy? Erevor. 
God heart. What is a bone canopy? Oh, bone canopy. There it is. Yeah, the rootway is expanding. Look. Whoa. This new StarCraft looks dope. Follow Sunspear Games on Twitch. There you go. Okay. We have a bone canopy. Oh, I already made one. It just wasn't done yet. Oops. A deep nest. How deep? Deep as hell? Where's my idle worker button? Is there one? Construct Red Veil. Red Seers and their Vanguard replacements. Okay. Let's build. Root Cradle. Upgrades for all. Mm -hmm. Omnivore. It's a defense thing. You are missing the required buildings for this. I'm making a Root Cradle right now. <clears throat> The deep nest lets you summon behemoths from your bone canopy. Behemoth. Emphasis on the moth. Behemoth. Like that. Okay. I should have a lot more upgrades now. Offering. Sacrifice 10 life to increase movement speed for several seconds. Research Blood Mother's Fervor to gain attack speed and attack range for the duration. So basically a stim-like effect. We don't have the research to do that yet. Okay, that's fair. Tab allows me to research stuff. I research offering. I research Godflesh Bark. I research deploy for that unit. And then this one for mass hunters. Attack speed and attack range. Increases the Icker's movement speed. Icker gains range and slows. Increases bow range. Herivores and omnivores get area of effect damage against air units. Nice. build some stuff. I've not made a resonant yet. I've made a mass hunter in as a call. Bloodbound I have not made yet. Space and Aerox. A Thrum. A Dread Sister or two. A Behemoth. An Incubator. Wraithbow. We're at max training capacity. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's just grab the army that we have now. Who's coming out? I need to do the production rally point. There we go. We have a rally point now. Wow. Whoa. Dread sisters. There's a tree lady. Incubator force multiplier. Whoa, it's like a spidery thing, but it has four legs instead of eight. What in the hell? Oh, I remember these. These are huge. The behemoth. It's a skirmisher. Attack and retreat and attack and retreat. Okay. Forces the enemy out of position. Big endgame unit. Nice. You love behemoths. I'm gonna go test it out. Attacks ground and air, targets ground. So it's a broodlord, basically. Broodlord type. I challenge you to battle. Attack and retreat. Attack. Ah. 
Yeah, it shoots out little dudes. Blah. It's like a swarm host that flies but has low range. Nice. Blah. And I think you upgrade the number of things they spit out. I saw the upgrade somewhere. Tab. Mm hmm. Behemoth capacity. There we go. Okay. So now the behemoths will be buffed after I get this. Let's make a bunch more production facilities. And then I will make a fake army to fight against. Are these the defensive turrets? Look at this macro. Upgrade mining level two. Oh, I should have done that a long time ago. Whoops. Gotta build Wraith Bow, they're dope. Alright. Oh, I can get more upgrades? Oh no, these are the abilities? Oh, yeah, these are the abilities of the army that I have. Yes. Erevol, this is for defense. The defensive structure. Let's check out these structures. This is the Murder Hollow. Many people have been murdered in here. That's why it's called the Murder Hollow. The Amber Womb. Alter the Worthy. We saw this one. Root Cradle. Looks like a big heart in the center. Red Veil. Research. Bone Canopy. This one looks awesome. Building-wise, I think I like the Bone Canopy. The God Heart is sick, though. I do like these happy ether maw dudes. How many people were murdered in the murder hollow? <laughs> At least seven. I heard it was 19. I heard it was pretty brutal. Okay, my supply limit has increased dramatically. Let's produce some units. You said to make a wrath bow. Wraith bow. Okay. Thrums, Eroxes, Behemoth. We are producing stuff. 19. Devastating. Okay, we need to get some Pyre and then I can show off the immortal abilities. Boom. Boom. Get this Pyre, yo. She is pleased. Good. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I'll just meet up here. Each winner of immortal tournaments is sacrificed in Murder Hollow. <laughs> that way you don't need to nerf whichever faction is overpowered. It's just the best players eliminated from the player pool. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. We got another behemoth. Let's go, everyone. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Did I make resonance? Our trading capacity is at its limits. Okay, I can make a couple more buildings. Altar of the Worthy. And I would guess the number of units you can train of a certain type is related to how many buildings you've made that supports that unit. So if I want to make a bunch of behemoths, I probably want to make the... the building that enables that. Deep nest. That location is blocked. Oh, shit. Cool. What is this? The Resonant. 
Oh, dude. This one looks sick. It's like a heckin' Aztec Immortal looking thing. Nice. Nice. Okay, did we not see any of the ants yet? This is the Masked Hunter. This is the Resonant. This is the Aerox. Air Superiority. Oh, this is like a Scourge type of thingy. This does air to air. 100 damage. 160 versus heavy. 532 move speed. Pretty fast. It's not in the game yet, but it's planned that when they siege, blood pours out of their claws in a puddle around them. Oh, for this unit? Yeah, we can deploy it. Let's see what it looks like. Resident deployed. Siege mode engaged. Firing. Whoa, what are these from? Oh, these are from the behemoth. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we have Bloodhound. These look sick. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is my favorite of the units so far. The Resonant is pretty cool. This is the bone or the masked hunter generalist. They're all about making generalizations. The Iker. I think I got the speed boost, so it's faster now than it was before. And do we not make any of the units yet? Iker resonant masked hunter. I did make that. Zakal I made. Bloodbound I made. Incubator. Is there an incubator in here? Incubator. Oh, it's this one. The spider looking one. This is the behemoth. And... The Dread Sister is the tree looking one. And the Throm is this little birdie one. Aerox. Oh no. This is the Aerox. This is the Throm. Oh, dude. Nice. Oh, it's like a hummingbird. You can see its wings are like flapping so fast you can hardly see them. I like the red orange. Ooh. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Okay, maybe this is my favorite. Tough. Tough call here. Hmm. Is that all of them? Incubator, Wrathbow. Did I not make a Wrathbow yet? Where are you, Wrathbow? This is a call. Move out of the way. Mask Hunter. They finished the model for that, it's awesome. Which one? I think I have a Wrathbow on the way. I made a couple. A Wrathbow! Oh, I have more of these. How do I select all idle workers? Mm -hmm. Space. Boom. Rooms are like cute little birdies, except they're the size of a saltwater crocodile, and they drink blood, and they shoot railway spikes at you. Yeah, that's not the most diplomatic approach. Shooting railway spikes at people 
No idle worker select button yet, but intended. It's on the list, sire. Uh, the model for the immortal looking thing, the RE units are looking great. Yeah, I really like the aesthetic of their... Oh, this is a Rathbo. Whoa. Nice. So they have two archer units. Masked Hunter and a Wrathbow. Nice. Okay, let's showcase the immortal abilities for this one. Prophet's Favor. She spends her blood to enhance her warriors. Within an area. How do I use this? Red Harvest. Summons Mala's Spectre. Oh, I think I have to summon her first. Okay, I select her. Whoa. Rain of Blood. Whoa. Damn, that's metal AF. I'm guessing this gives me a buff. Rain of blood for 30 seconds increases global life and mana regen for allied troops. The player gains pyre for every enemy warrior killed during the duration. Whoa. You gotta kill some stuff in the AoE. Okay. Let's, uh, god mode make an enemy army. In... Karoth. Okay. In Karoth. Group up everyone, group up everyone. It's time for battle. Get him. Okay, immortal abilities, raining blood. Whoa. And offering? Sacrifice 10 life to increase movement speed. Are we stimmed? These can only attack air, so they're not able to attack anything right now. Our forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack! Birthing storm. Deal a burst damage. And plant. Kittle seeds in enemy units. If a unit dies, it spawns Kittle based on its population. After a short delay, the Kittle attempts to break free, dealing another burst of damage and destroying the kill seed. Hmm. Root vice enemy areas are rooted for a few seconds and slowed for a few more. Nice. Bim bim. Looking forward to some sound effects. Yeah, this is still in alpha, so lots of stuff to be worked on, but the progress since I last saw the game is enormous. So many units that were just like a blue outline of the character are basically done. The buildings are looking great. The map and the environment looks great. Certainly much work to be done, but it's difficult to make a video game as it shakes out. Okay. So, did y'all see of a co-op map or something that I can play on? Summon a blood wall. That terrain is invalid. That terrain is invalid. Is it though? Just not have vision of it. Summon a blood wall. 
F. What? Oh, it's different than what I thought it was. There are two co-op maps. Quit game. Create lobby, click map image, change to co-op. Create lobby. Click map image. Do I have to make a name for it? Click W. Okay. Creating lobby, click W. Change map. 2v2 co-op. There we go. Co-op holdout test. Check. Team resize. You've selected a map that allows less than number of players. Oh, can I do this solo? You have a co-op lobby ready? Santa Claus? So I could join lobby? Oh, Santa Claus joined this. Okay, nice. Launching. It's launched. <clears throat> the game is about to begin. Good luck. Have fun. Choose your immortal. Okay. Let's do this one. Co-op holdout. Are we just supposed to survive as long as we can? I like the concept of survival mission. You'll do your best. I'm counting on you to carry me because you know what you're doing. No, I do not. But I do know that the Aru desire blood above all else and we will feast upon it. The people you play with are people like you. They're not perfect and that's okay. What? Really? So you're saying I shouldn't BM the shit out of them? Wow. Player has been called out. Wave one incoming. Okay. Defend the stronghold. All right, I guess we need to just like build stuff. Construct an altar of the worthy. Wave one. I'm stressed. Amber wound. We do not have the required buildings for this. We need a god heart. We need to get these happy ether thingies. Let's also expand. Is there a place I can expand? This looks like a base. It's four hundred dollars to expand. Okay, gotta expand. Okay, we can produce stuff. Let's make some. You of do these. not have the required buildings for this. Okay, and these I can just rally here. Do they just attack us from all sides? Oh boy. Oh boy! Free base to the south. Yeah, I got a base here. Is this the one you're talking about? Look at this. Santa Claus also expanded. Wave one is spawned. Oh, gods help us. Okay, get this. Uh, Bone allies, you are missing the required buildings for this. You're missing the required buildings. You are missing the required buildings uh, for this. Oh, then I'll build them. Amber you do not have the required buildings Can for I make this. a god heart? Okay, here we go. God heart is going. Rushing lair, chat. This is still building. Let's make another one of now, these. Ally is under attack. Who's attacking you? 
Wave two. Our ally is under attack. Amber Womb. Bone Canemy, Grove Heart. Uh, space. Our ally is under attack. Murder Hollow. You Red are Vail. missing the required buildings for this. Okay. A lot of the is stuff attack. isn't gonna be updated until I get my God Heart. I'm upgrading my mining here. Oh, look at the snowy area on this map. Coach, think of the Prime Gaming. Ember Wombo Combo. Wave 2 spawned. <gasps> I'm stressed. Okay, get back to work. Get back to work. Amber Womb, Bone Cannon, can I make this? Yeah. Our ally okay. is under attack. Our ally is under attack. I have a lot more of these now. Oh, I have two teapots. Let's just scout around the map. Whoa. Our ally is under attack. Omnivore root cradle. Sure, just unlocking the ally is here. under attack. Making the stuff. Our ally is in battle. He's fighting for that pyre. A reasonable option. Okay, I'm trying to fight over there. My guys are pathing different ways. Let's just agree to go this way. He's fighting to the south, so I will fight to the north. Tab. DPS. Our ally is under attack. We got the pyre. We've got the pyre. Our ally is in battle. Oh, shit. All right, now Our we can make other stuff. Let's make some of those, some of these, a couple of those, a couple of these. Oh, this is a tower. Ow! 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 Go, Nero, go. Trisha, what up? Our ally is in battle. What wave do you think Nero will make it to? 15, 20, 100? Well, I don't know. Does it just go indefinitely? Our ally is in battle. Our ally is in battle. Destroy to get rewards. Okay. I love rewards. Yes, or it crashes. <laughs> okay. Our That's exciting. In Incubator, Wrathbow. Oh, I need to make more buildings. We need more buildings. Our ally is in battle. Our forces are under attack. Oh, no. Ally is under attack. When you tried this solo, you died in the first wave always. Now, ally is under attack. What? Oh, something good happened, probably. Our ally is under attack. Look at Santa Claus go. Ally is under attack. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Our forces are under attack. What is the thing that allows me to make the behemoths? Our ally is under attack. 
deep nest. You are missing the required and a bone canopy. Bone canopy is this one. Bottom. What? Unlock game server, enter server access key. Oh. Can I not move now? Connection lost. Oh no, it froze. Oh dear. You love Protoss Immortal inspired guys? Yeah, they're very cool looking. The server died. Boom, boom, boom. It crashes on wave five in this build. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Forgot about that. I really like the concept though of a holdout challenge. We fought until the server crashed. Nice. Other co-op works fully. What is the other mode? Whoops. Is it another map of the holdout challenge or it's a different objective? The other co-op is great. No, you're great. Escort slash control point. You gotta get the golem factory. Uh. You have to get all the Nazra golems. Do I have to restart the game? Or is it going to load? We close it. Okay. Co-op holdout test change map. Co-op mission two. Is it this one? This one? Okay. Give me a moment. I'll use the restroom and then we will do this mission. Thank you all for cheering us on in Neuro Subathon 2 as we showcase an up and coming RTS Immortal Gates of Power. I'll be right back. We'll choose this one, and we go. The map markers. The map will start soon. Old tacos are dangerous. Probably. Ether is collected by ether extractors. Ether extractors don't need any workers to operate. Hmm. That's a good innovation. 
That's automation. Fair enough. Difficulty selection. Enemy attacks with tier one units. Hard, insane, immortal. Let's just do insane. If I die, I die. All right, we're just gonna go at it. And if we die, then that's how it is. Altar of the Worthy. Let's take a base too. Where can we expand? Over here. This map is very pretty. This is a large rectangle. That's probably going to be something later. Look at the size of it. <clears throat> VLHF. I will go get food after this. But I'm very impressed with the progress thus far. Didn't even have any of these modes before. Let alone like half these units and buildings. Oh, Santa Claus taking that base. Very good. Very smart. Let's get this. Let's get this. We need more alloy. I need more alloy. It's a very large rectangle. I have a Twitch viewer who says, Nero, you have a very satisfyingly rectangular face. And it doesn't really hit like a compliment, but I think they mean it as one. Nero, your face is shapes. Thank you. As is yours. All right, we got ether income going. Let's get this ether income too. Between this and Stormgate, you're excited for RTS's future. You can't play SC2 anymore, but you're hoping these will be slower and your wrist can handle it, lol. Ally is under attack. Yeah, whenever you have the pros getting consistent wrist injuries, that's a, a bit of a problem. Okay, it looks like the enemies have all these bases and stuff. So we're going to need to macro up. We got two bases to macro. I'm going to start getting an army going here. Let's get our production. We got a rally point. Now I need to start making production facilities. Construction tab. You are missing the required I need a god heart. Let's just go ahead and upgrade this. Okay, I have some stuff. Bring uh, units here to power up the foundry. Can I go here? Or will I die to stuff? Our ally is in battle. Dang, this is still going? Yeah, what do you mean, the subathon or this video game? How you doing, Tutorigos? Our forces are under attack. Our oh, forces? What about them? They're under attack! Oh, why didn't you say so? I was trying to. Bring units to power up the foundry. Look at us teaming the up. Ally is under attack. Teaming up. Okay, I need to wait for my Godheart stuff to finish, I think. Production tablets make we some can't archers. Support any more population. We cleared it. The subathon. Is this that development RTS? Yes. Immortal Gates of Time. Foundry activation. Our ally is in battle. Do, 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 do. We can't support any more population. I need to make more stuff. Our ally is under attack. Alright, let's get some Amber Womb. Bone Canopy. Our forces are and, under uh, attack. And a red veil. Yes. Oh, should I use my immortal thing to build the thingy on this? Summon Bloodwell. Grove Guardian. Ah. Not enough pyre. We need more pyre. Our ally is under attack. Our ally is under attack. 
You all right? Sound is great so far. Makes you want to play. Yes. Masked hunters. Let's make some wraith bows. We're at max training capacity. Our base is under siege. Uh oh. Defense clap clap. Defense clap clap. Our base is under siege. A teapot. Let's get a detector. Two detectors. And I'll get a deep nest now. Our base is under siege. Deep nest allows me to make behemoths, right? Yeah. Our ally is under attack. Birthing we need storm. More ether. We need more ether, bro. What is this? Huh? What is that? The map reminds you of Beast of the Hill with the center objective. Yeah, I think we're supposed to control this and then it powers up over time. Oh no. Oh, connection loss. That's why it wasn't letting me do that. Aha! Nice. Well, it is in alpha. It's not supposed to be smooth yet. It's a little bit bumpy. Text top center. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being patient. All good, yo. The Santa Claus has some keys. So if you want an immortal gates of Pyre key, you can post so in the uh, the Twitch chat. What is in the photon cannon? Did you just see? What in the tarnation? For when I post this to YouTube, uh, where should I point people to be enthusiastic? I think I saw Jack Attack post a Discord link earlier. Could put that in there. What do we got? Sun Spear Games Twitch account. I'll link that again. Okay. There's a Discord link. I think I'm already in this Discord server. Do 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 do. But It's got a catchy song. Yes, I am in this Discord server. Nice, nice. Cool. I'm just going to paste this in our Discord DMs just for easy reference later. Boop, 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 this, copy, paste, and this, copy, paste, great, too, well, nice, good work, sons, be a team, so this is Immortal Gates of Pyre, currently in development. I think just to reiterate, you said looking for open beta next year, ballpark. And you said three factions at launch. That's what you're aiming for, or three factions at open beta. And this is going to have 1v1, co-op, 2v2, and 3v3. Is there also a plan for a campaign? Three factions open beta 2024. Five factions at launch 2025. Oh. 
Oh. Have the other factions been revealed, or are they secrets and mysteries? Because so far we have the angelic faction, as we can see with this lovely background art here. And there's the blood tree faction, which is the Aru. Mostly secrets. Short mini campaigns for each immortal. Nice. For kind of lore building and getting to practice with their particular units and effects and stuff. I like that. That's how I recommend a lot of people learn StarCraft is to play through the campaigns and learn the various units. Well, awesome. Thank you to Jack Attack TV for helping us out with setting all this up. And thank you, Sandy Claus, for queuing up with me for some of the co-op stuff that they've got in the works. And I think there were some other people who tuned in. It Who Speaks I saw in the chat. Any other Sunspear developers, very good work. You've made massive progress since I last saw. Lots of units with fleshed out models that look heckin' sweet. Feel free to check out their stuff. They have a Discord server. It is discord.gg slash gates of pyre. And then they have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash sunspear games. And they do uh, what they call pyre side chat, which is like fireside chat, where they're talking about the current development progress and so on. Very exciting times for RTS. Best of luck to Sunspear Games. Keep it up, and we will see you on the next exposition of Immortal Gates of Pyre.